Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition as always we are going to name it as let's say main animation and width let's choose 1920 height I am going to choose 180 and frame rate is 30 and duration we are going to choose only 10 seconds long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Now first of all we will type our text so you can type whatever text you want. I'm going to choose Oswald font and I'm going to type over here is typography like this. Select this text and let's increase the distance a little bit between this text. Now select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now select this text, press Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose this and let's call it as text and hit OK. Now double click to open this text comp and hit ctrl k to open the project settings over here and let's decrease the height let's say up to 200 like this and let's make it 180 i think this much looks good and press ctrl k again and let's decrease the width up to let's say 800 or increase it up to something like this i think this much looks good and simply hit ok so we will get this kind of stuff now press ctrl y to create one solid background and simply hit ok and let's bring this backwards and let's lock this layer now select your rectangle selection tool and delete this fill and stroke width i'm going to choose two pixels like this and simply double click to on this one so it will automatically create one at the uh, i mean at, uh, properly at the size of our composition and if you go to the main animation you will get something like this and if you want to increase the stroke you can do that also for example right now i'm going to choose four pixels over here so we'll get something like this now let's select this and uh, hit ctrl d to duplicate it now select this first one and change the color of this one to yellow so because this is our middle one and we'll lock this layer now select this second layer press r for rotation create one keyframe go to around one second and we are going to make it 180 like this so if you see we will get this kind of rotation okay so go to around one second and now select this and hit ctrl d at the last keyframe over here i'm going to make it 170 again select this hit ctrl d over here i'm going to make it 160 so basically we are going to reduce this value by 10 10 unit so i make it 140 130 120 one one zero hundred ninety eighty seventy sixty over here fifty fifty sorry It should be 40 30 20 10 so now if you see this animation you will get this kind of stuff and then hit you then go to around let's say few frame forward like 1.15 and select all of them and uh, again create one keyframe at rotation then go to around 2.15 frames and let's make this value 180 for all of them like this okay uh, let's make it sorry let's make it 180 over here so for all of them so if you see we will get something like this if i see this animation from the start i'll get this then i'll get this now select those all the keyframes and by holding alt i'm going to move this up to 3.15 frames and let's make this hit f9 then go to the graph editor i'm going to select this graph 
and by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and i'll move this handle over here so if you see this you will get this then you will get this okay so this is how we will get and if you want then you can select alternate layers like this oops uh, before that select this first one and go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect to apply and swap these colors then you can select this tint hit ctrl c to copy and then by holding ctrl you can select alternate layers over here and you can press ctrl v to swap this so you will get something like this this is totally optional if you want then you can skip this process also and if let's go over here and if you want then you can increase the stroke width over here to let's say 10 also it's totally up to you so if you see this thing over here you will get something like this and another thing you can do if you want you can simply select this for example if i increase the stroke up to this so you can see we'll get something like that and then again select this and hit ctrl d and this time change the color of this one to white one and now change the stroke somewhere around over here so what will happen the stroke will be inside of it okay so this is also one process then uh, you can select this and hit ctrl d again and you can change this black again and let's decrease the stroke again so as you guys can see you will get this kind of pattern over here so now if i see this stuff over here i'll get this kind of animation now i want them to be animated one by one so i'll hit page down button one time i'll select all of them i'll hold alt close bracket right click go to the keyframe assistance and choose sequence layers and simply hit ok zoom out a little bit and let's increase this duration up to 10 frames so if i see this animation i'll get something like this then like this then somewhere around where this animation ending so you can see this last keyframe and hit u go over here and hit n so now if i see this animation i'll get something like this then i'll get this animation continuous in the form of loop okay and then uh, at last uh, if you want then uh, you can apply drop shadow effect also so you can simply select this layer and go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply this effect let's uh, increase the dis not distance but we will increase the softness to 100 and opacity to 30 okay then select this drop shadow hit ctrl c select all of these layers and hit ctrl v to this is totally extra process you can follow this only if you want because this is going to create a trouble in this uh, you know looping formation so i'll skip this process i don't want the drop shadow effect on this one but yeah i can select this drop shadow let's delete this and i can click on this one which is my topmost layer i can select this one and i can apply drop shadow effect on this layer and then i can increase the distance to 20 i can increase the distance to 100 like this and let's increase it much more like that so i'll get something like this okay so this is for this one now another thing i need to do over here i need some uh, weirdest pattern over here so for that what i can do i'm going to right click and i'll create one null object not null object but let's say adjustment layer over here and i'm going to apply tint effect on this one so double click to apply and so if you save this color you will get something like this but now what i'm going to do i'm going to select this adjustment layer and i'll bring this after my main layer which is this one and now i'll select this layer over here and if you hide this uh, if you swap this color you will get this kind of stuff so first of all let's see uh, our color is like this and let's swap this tint effect so you will get this and then i'm going to select my uh, ellipse tool and by holding shift i'm going to create one mask on it like this okay and simply double click and you can adjust the size of this mask like this and you can adjust it over here so if you see properly you will get something weird looking shape uh, for over here like this and you can select this adjustment layer you can adjust this wherever you want you can again hit ctrl d press s and you can scale it like this so as you guys can see you are getting this kind of weird pattern over here okay so this is how also just a extra additional step you can add to your animation like this so this is how you can create this kind of simple typographic animation